Wrong box. Babe, can you pass me another box? No. What? What was that? Which one is it? Uh, the white one. Thank you. Hey, Delvon Digital here, and I'm just here to give you my experience with the Pixel Buds A Series Plus, negative, A Series, just A Series. Yeah, I. Right. So I didn't write no script. I don't have anything planned for this video. I just hit record on the camera, and I'm here. So this is raw, just straight raw. No, no planning, no thinking, because in order for me to give you a better review nah not review but to give you a real experience of how i'm using this device then it needs to not be script i think i think that you need to just hear it as i use it because i know what i use this for on a daily and i know there's things that i don't use so i don't want to add stuff in there because the sake of making it into the video so let's let's talk about things i want to talk about some issues that i have with the galaxy buzz a series so Weirdly enough, when I put these things into the case, okay, just like any other buds in the world that you have, you put these into the case, just like they are, just slap them in there and you close it. These will still be connected to my phone while the case is closed. Normally I put the turn off, but they stay connected. Just like even today, my mom called the family on dual today, just today. And I answered the dual call. And my mom and my brother and my sister and my niece, they were all talking because we, you know, we all live different places and they're, everybody's talking and I couldn't hear anybody and they couldn't hear me. And I realized that my phone was still connected to my buds while my buds was on my desk far away from me. And it was still connected because faint in the background, I heard them talking through the case. I don't know what that was about. So I asked my fiance to grab the case. She brought it to me. And I put the butt in my ear and then I was sitting there talking to everybody on a video call, no problem. Then when I took, when the video call was over, I took them off and I put them back in the case just like this. And I just gave it like a wiggle and made sure that it was off and it was off. So, and this is it's crazy because if you had these, there's like no wrong way to put these back in here. Like once you, once they're in there, it's like a, it's like, I don't know, hold on. It's like a magnet and, and it goes into that spot and it connects the proms. I don't know why it stay connected to my phone. It's like, you know, you look, they're in there on the magnets. Ah, there we go, like some dice. So I don't know, that issue I have a lot with these. So does that break my experience? Not really, just gotta do extra stuff sometimes to make sure it's not connected. Uh, and I use these exclusively just with my Pixel. Um, they do work with iOS. I use them with my iPhone as well. Actually, yeah, I kind of do use them with my iPhone when I was carrying it because I don't like some other buds that, you know, Apple make. I'm not going to get all into that. But yeah, uh, I think these sound better. <laughs> and my Galaxy Buds Pros? Galaxy Buds Pro. Yeah, they sound better too. See, I'm about sound quality when it comes to buds over features. I know a lot of you like features and stuff, but that's fine. But I do, only thing I do with my buds, and I'm going to be straight honest with you, is listen to music and maybe talk on the phone. Well, not maybe, talk on the phone. Talk on the phone and listen to music. I'm a person who turns my music very loud, so ASC, ANC is not all the way necessary for me because I actually listen to music loud, I know. You're gonna kill your eardrums, my life, okay? Cool. So yes, I turn my headphones up and transparency mode, uh, I like that mode, I, I think, if I had to choose between transparency and ANC, I would choose transparency more because I have more people walking up to me when I got buds in my ear talking to me while they see buds in my ear than people not talking to me. You know, so when I'm trying to blank everybody out with the ANC or whatever, I, I do less of that and more of like, 
hey man, hey man, uh, hey, hey man, you know, especially when I'm out, in the, out, out and about in the stores, I be putting these in, and then you know those bums, <laughs> they be over there with the signs, and they, they you stand outside the store, and they were like, hey man, you got a dollar, you got a quarter, or they wait for you to come back in and out, bro, NFC right there, right? But nah, transparency mode, you know, it's like when you know somebody's talking to you, so I mean, that I can use. But have that been a problem for me on these buds? It has not been a problem for me at all with these buds. Uh, I don't, I mean, it has like a passive mode or whatever, so I can still kind of hear people and stuff like that, which is fine. So like I say, I'm about quality, sound quality over the features, and then the features come second to that. Not saying I don't want those features, so don't get me wrong. I would love to always have those features. My Galaxy Buds, perfect sound for me, and it has all of those features. So this is like the perfect buds. And I'm just like one of those people who like to have, like if I got an iPhone, I want AirPods. If I got a uh, Galaxy phone, I want Galaxy Buds. If I got a Pixel, I want Pixel Buds. But like I say, the only problem for me is with some of the competitors, but they don't sound as good, you know, to me. So therefore, you know, I would choose Buds over sound quality. So that's just me. I know a lot of people like certain Buds and it's okay to them, but you know, everybody ears are different and we're all subjective to, you know, the type of sound that we want to hear and like we like. So, you know, I would not say another pair of Buds is bad. I'm not going to sit here and say that. It just don't sound good to me and don't get offended because it don't sound good to me. These sound good to me. AirPods Pro don't sound good to me. Uh, Galaxy Buds Pro sound good to me. Galaxy Buds Live don't sound good to me. So if it sounds good to you, that's fine. That's your life. I'm not, I'm not mad if they sound good to you. Don't get mad if they don't sound good to me. So just, you know, so yeah. So sound quality on these has been great. It's great bass. They get nice and loud if you want loud headphones. Uh, you know, it, the, the instrument separation is really good. I'm no audio file, but I do like high quality music. And I'm not saying these are it, but when it comes to buds, I mean, if you're really a person that like high quality music, you wouldn't be buying wireless headphones in, in the first place. But I do buy them and I do have wired high quality headphones. So I'm I'm like convenient and then wired down to a to a computer. Convenient, wired down to a computer. So if I really want the high quality listen, I'll be in front of my computer or whatever wired in. And if I just need convenience, which is buds and everything else is Bluetooth is buds, it's for convenience. So that's why I buy these, you know? So, but I still want them to sound really good. I still want to get pleasure out of the music that I'm listening to. Like I say, the features come second to the music to me. Well, to the sound quality. So that's just always been me and it's always gonna be me. I'm always gonna choose the headphones that sound good first. And then if the features are good, that's just a bonus for me. I'm like, oh yeah, I got this and this and this. It's just like the total package. But if the sound quality is good and the features are kind of like bad or lackluster, I can definitely live with it because look, these don't have ANC or transparency and I love these. I would pick these up to rock to my music, talk on the phone. Uh, they do last four hours. They really hit that four hour marker for real. Um, I don't like it because I'm coming from like the Galaxy Buds, um, what's it called? The Plus, Whew, that 11 hour battery life is crazy. Like I didn't like the longevity of my AirPods. I didn't like the longevity of my Jobbers. I didn't like the longevity of these or my Galaxy Buds Pros, bro. Four hours is trash. Five hours is trash. Six hours is trash. To be honest with you, I think it's five hours. Don't get me wrong. It might be more than that, y'all. I, I could be lying. I, I don't really care, but I just know that I could put these on sometime today the day while I'm talking on the phone, it's going to beep in my ear. Got to charge them. I don't remember that ever happening with my Galaxy Buds Plus. Like, whatever time I decide to put these in my ear, it will probably last until, you know, I'm done with my conversation. I could be on the phone with somebody for eight hours. I'm still chunking with battery. So, Stuff like that, you know, I wish Samsung would have brought that up, but this ain't about them. Anyway, so yeah. So other than that, and I don't like that these don't have wireless charging. I wish they could have squeezed out a, like another 30 bucks maybe and just included it, which is so weird because ugh, this thing has, ugh, sorry. It's so, okay, it's not strong enough, but this, it has a magnet up here. I mean, I mean, yeah, obviously, right? Cause the buds, you know, magnetized, but yeah, it has, it's a very strong magnet. And, in the back of this so i'll be plugging this to my refrigerator random stuff all the time and whatever and i'm like dang why y'all just couldn't put wireless charging in this thing for 30 more bucks man this would have been great so i was gonna plug them in but i don't find myself charging them a lot so it's no big deal you know they charge fast usb type c gotta love it right and let's see uh it's not, oh, oh yeah 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 and the, the other problem i have is that these uh tips right here so if anybody actually own a pair of these and know where I can get some good phone tips, phone tips, 
from, please let me know because I'm not saying these tips are bad. These tips are fine, but literally, I don't know when I put these in my ear itches, you know, it's like this texture or material that they're using irritates my ear. I should probably stop using these until I get some replacements because it might, I might be allergic, <laughs> but I haven't, you know, my ear haven't swelled up or anything, but I put them in for a few hours and then I'm like, and it only happens with these buds. It never happened with any other buds I ever owned ever. So, you know, when I bought the first pair and I lost them, they were doing that like the first, the very first day. And I just, you know, I didn't think about it. I was like, yeah, whatever, you know, and then it just kept going consistently over and over. And I bought a second pair and same thing. So yeah, I think I need to change the tips or whatever, because I might be allergic. I don't know, but it, it irritates my ear. So I always got to go like that with my ears and stuff like that. So that is the downside for me with these, but stupid me keep putting them in and listening to the music and taking them out with me. So if I carry my pixel with me, I take my buds with me and that's just what I do. So, uh, pairing is pretty easy. Yeah. I just hold the button and pairs. Um, with this pixel phone, you just open it up and it pairs, you know, same thing, you know, yeah, everybody know about quick pair or fast pair now. I mean, that's old stuff now. I mean, pretty much everything does it now. So I'm not going to get into that. You already know how it is. So other than that, these have been really great. I do recommend them for $100. If you're a person who just appreciate good sound and you know, good sound, <laughs> I don't know what else the, these can offer. I mean, they just match with the pixel. So, you know, good sound and, and, and that, I mean, the comfort, okay. The comfort. I said the comfort, <laughs> the comfort, they're comfortable. Um, I didn't have the other generation that everybody was complaining about, so I don't really don't know. So for me, it's just like these just out the box, straight up comfortable. These are probably my favorite design earbuds to date right now, like literally to date, because I like the pill shape. I wish that Google actually made black because when it comes to buds, I do prefer black because I don't want people to know I got buds on my ear, especially when I'm at a job that just don't want you to have buds in your ear, you know, having stems sticking out your ear or, you know, cause you either get the stem design design or you get like a pill design or you get a big old giant design that's like that. There's so many different, different designs that just stick out and just scream, look at me, look at me, I'm on my phone. But if these were black and it was in my ear, you know, from the front, you won't be able to tell. That's how my Galaxy Buds Plus was. But my Galaxy Buds Pro, they're so fucking big that they hang out and stuff like that. So people obviously see it, but at least they're black, right? But yeah, so other than that, I don't have any problems uh, with these. These are absolutely great. Uh, I don't know what else to say about them. Don't have any other issues or whatever the case may be. They work great with the Pixel. They work great with my Galaxy phone. I use them with that. They work great with my Mac. They work great with my iPhone and my iPad and Mac and blah, 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 blah. So they just, they're Bluetooth headphones. So yeah. Other than that, hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Next update, next update, next video. It's going to be a big one for me. I'm working real hard for it. So um, peace out guys. See you in the next one. Galaxy Bird.